hear it. Anyways, I'm using one blue spring and there's a lot of balance and a lot of coordination in this flow, so it is extremely advanced. Um, I'm going to start with what I call a doggy pull. So I bring my hands all the way to the front and then I shimmy my knees to the back of the reformer. So my shoulders are directly over my hands and my hips are directly over my knees. Now, with my left hand, the hand closest to the foot bar, I'm going to reach and grab the long loop here. So. I'm going to take a great big inhale as I extend my arm out and I'm going to exhale bring it right back in. <sighs> Being really mindful and careful of the shoulder. If your client feels any pain here they probably should not be doing it or they can do it with a bent elbow. So they bend and then extend. It takes a little bit of pressure off of that rotator cuff. Otherwise we're here. Shoulders are staying square, abdominals are tight. I'm lengthening the pelvic floor behind me. I'm gonna do just one more. Typically, I would do four to five. Now, I'm gonna bring my hand into the short loop. I'm gonna walk my hand to the headrest, shimmy forward just a little bit, and find a side arabesque, bending the elbow, and I'm gonna reach it up for five. Abdominals are tight. This is a lot of balance. I've got four, three, two, staying connected under that shoulder, just one more right there, bringing my knee down, coming all the way upright. Now I'm going to shimmy my knees all the way to the top. I'm about center in my carriage. I look down, my hips are square, my knees are square. I'm going to glue my elbow to my waist and open here for four, typically I'd probably do six. For three, I definitely feel it right there. We've got two, try not to rotate at all, and one. All right, we're done with that strap. So I'm going to replace that strap, and now my left hand is going to come onto my foot bar here. My right hand comes here. I'm going to extend this leg long. Now I'm going to try and keep this foot or this leg as high as possible. I'm going to open the carriage and then I'm going to pull the carriage home trying to separate the space between my legs as much as possible. So I open right here, pull the knees apart. Definitely a lot of work and those outer hips right there. A lot of abductor work right there. We're going to do three more. Exhale, bring it home. <sighs> Tighten those abdominals on the exhale. <sighs> this is a lot of leg work, you guys. Two, last one. Now, I have to keep the carriage steady. To do that, I have to actively press that knee towards my hand. Flex my extended leg. I'm gonna lower and lift for five. Keep that carriage closed. Four, I'm stabilizing the left leg, working the right leg. For three, whoo, two, and one, and pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna take it to the back and center. Back and center. Two more. Trying to not move that carriage, but it is wobbling. But I promise I'm trying. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring it down. Good. Now I'm gonna bring my hands here. I'm gonna go into what I call the walking plank flow. I'm gonna bring my feet to the center of my carriage. Shoulders are over my hands. Inhale for nothing. Exhale, I'm gonna pike it up. It's simple. I like to start the movement with something simple, something that everyone can do. <sighs> Deflate the abs to lift. Inhale. Create as much of um, a hollowed abdominal, lower abdominal cavity as possible. Right here, hollow out that low tummy. <sighs> now we're gonna go into a tuck. Tuck it under. <sighs> For four, nose to your knees. <sighs> Three, my shoulders. I'm trying to keep them over my hands. Two, whew, and one. I'm going to hold this plank right here. I'm going to open my feet to about shoulder distance apart. I'm going to leave with my right hand to come down to the platform. I have a platform pad there. It helps with my hands, bringing it down. Now, my abdominal muscles are drawn in to protect my low back. I don't want any sway in my low back. I'm going to do one more round, ending with my hands on the foot bar. Whoo! Ah, I'm going to hold it right here. Now I'm going to bring my feet back to the center. I'm going to take my right foot, tap the floor, exhale, hollow out that tummy to draw the foot back under. Left foot, exhale. Whoo! I'm going to do one more each side. Right here, I have to lift up from my tummy to lift that heavy leg. Good, now I'm going to walk my feet 
all the way to the front. I'm going to bring my left foot onto the platform and then my right foot is going to come to the floor like this. And then my hands come to the floor. My left foot finds the carriage and then I'm going to sweep my right leg around. You guys know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Shoulders over my hands. I'm going to inhale for nothing. Exhale, pike my hips up for three. I'm initiating the lift from that pelvic floor into that low tummy for two. Whew, you guys, this is hard. And one. Now, remember, it's called walking plank flow. I'm going to walk back. Whew. Walk front. One, two, three, four. Walk back. One, two, three, four. Walk it front. One, two, three, four. Go halfway back. And then I take my right leg. It comes off. Whew. And I'm done with this side. Now to start over, I would come this way and I would start with the doggy pole. So my hands are on the front of the frame and 